This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. Continuing our series of demonstrations of using CS Pro, this demonstration illustrates how to create value sets for numeric codes and how to set a range of valid values for numeric data. As with before, we are using the baseline survey questionnaire as an example. As with most surveys, our example includes several questions that use numeric codes. In our survey, these include the sex and age of the respondent, the uh, type of wall, roof and floor, uh, whether the household has a kitchen, pit latrine and bath shelter, and codes for the economic activity. We will start with the sex of the respondent. With CS Pro Open and the data dictionary created in the previous demonstration loaded, we make sure the items are displayed in the left-hand panel, then right-click on Sex of Respondent and choose Add Value Set. We press Enter twice to be in the position to enter the first label. We type Mail and press Enter or Tab, which takes us to the From column. Here we type 1. We press Enter or Tab another three times skips the two column and the special column and saves this label. CS Pro is then ready for us to enter the next value. So in the same way, we enter female as the label and two in the from column. When we reach the next line, we press escape to finish entering values. With this value set in place, you will only be able to enter one or two into this item during data entry. In the same way, we can set the values for age of respondent, bearing in mind that here the codes start from 2. We set the remaining value labels for the coded data in the same way, and on the screen now you can see the value set for the activity code. You may remember in the previous demonstration that we mentioned converting the checkboxes the sources of income to numeric codes with one to indicate a tick or a yes response and a zero to indicate a blank or no response. These are created using value sets in exactly the same way as we have done for the coded questions. So we right click on sale of crops and choose value set and we create the labels yes equals one, no equals zero. We do the same for the other sources of income and for the five items in the activity record. The next task is to set valid or feasible ranges for the number items. Let's look first at the household size. This item was created with a length 2, so it can take any number up to 99. It can also take negative numbers down to minus 9. Note for negative numbers we need to allow space for the minus sign. Let's assume that each household has at least one member but no more than 20 members. Thus we want to set a valid range as being from 1 to 20. We right click on household size and choose Add Value Set. We give the value label as valid values. We enter a 1 in the From column and then a 20 in the To column. This is set a range of values that will be accepted into this variable as 1 to 20. We'll do the same for the number of economically active people but this time setting the range to be from 0 to 20, as there could feasibly be no one in the household who is economically active, for example, an elderly retired couple. 
So here's the value set for the number of economically active people. It's also useful to set valid values for the income items, if only to disallow negative values. You may remember we set the length for the income items to seven. I have four digits before the decimal point and two after. This allows values from minus 999.99 up to 9999.99. We will set the range to accept only positive values. So this will be from 0 to 9999.99. So here on the screen we see the valid values for the income from salary item to be from naught to 9999.99. In this demonstration, we have illustrated two uses for value sets. Although researchers often use numeric codes, considering and setting valid, va valid ranges for number items is a step that's often omitted. However, it is useful to consider as it means less chance of errors creeping into your data set. Some may argue that whatever value is written on the questionnaire should be entered. However, the alternative argument is that values should be checked prior to data entry and using valid value ranges helps in that check.